from Fred's RV over here in Satterton, Pennsylvania, just north of Philadelphia. Got another exciting one here for you today. We're looking at the 2021 Coachman Nova. Now, this is probably one of my favorite B vans just because of kind of price to performance, what you're getting, everything. And this nice package here that you're getting for this coach. It's one of all, over my overall favorite, favorite motorhomes. We'll go through it. I'll take you around the inside, outside, show you some nice features about it. Maybe it'll be something that works for you. As you can see, we're on the Ram ProMaster chassis here. V6 gas engine on here. You might have noticed right away. Nice black wheels that we have on here with the tires. Good off-road looking tire. Exterior, you're going to have an electric awning on here that's going to have an LED strip under it as well. Nice running boards down here below that'll stay stationary like that. On the outside, you do have the exhaust for your Truma combi system. It's going to do your heat as well as your water heater. Got a couple outlets out here as well in case you want to hang out under your awning and plug some things in. You can certainly do so. On the back you will have a ladder that comes standard on these units. You can get up and put something on your standard storage rack up there or even check out your solar panels, clean them off. You can get an optional bike rack on the back of here as well that will attach on the other door. On the other side you can put two bikes on it. Good for 100 pounds. Coming around the other side you'll find the most majority of your hookups over here. You're going to have one of your sewage outlets down here for your gray and black tank down here below. Generator exhaust you'll find over here as well. You're going to have another sewage outlet over here as well. The sinks come into different places so that's why they have two different sewage outlets for you. Over here you will have your 30 amp power cord. You've got a spray port over here. If you want to have an outdoor hose or shower type of deal, wash something off you can do so. You've got solar on the side as well. If you want to bring an extra solar panel with you, bring an addition to your 220 that you already have on the roof, you can certainly bring that along, set it up, and plug it in right there. It'll charge your battery as well. You're going to have your cable hookup, city water connection, fresh water connection here. You've also got a black tank flush, which is nice to see. Clean out that tank down below. You do have a propane tank on here. You'll find your connection for that as well as your sewer hose down here below. Dual pane acrylic windows on here come standard. Awesome feature to see. Gives you a better radiant barrier here, barrier of insulation. Let's head on to the inside. This is where probably my favorite part of this coach is. It's nice, light, bright. Offers some real nice features. Stepping in right away. Don't mind my dirty foot there we'll clean that up here soon but you do have a nice screen door here that you can see you can slide over on a nice day you'll be able to get some nice air in here walking in you'll notice you do have two swivel seats up here your driver and passenger seat nice leather wrapped on here there's a spot for a table to go in here if you want to do so wake up have your morning coffee eat up in here coming up top right away you'll find your main controls you've got your solar on off switch, battery disconnect switch. This one has a gray tank heater on it so you can turn that on. Heating on the uh, on the tank, there's a pad. Wi-Fi on, turn your propane on from in here. You've got an inverter. Great for any off-grid stuff. You can turn your generator on, run your inverter. You'll be able to do some nice off-grid, some boondocking on here. That's gonna be your solar controller. One of your Firefly panels is gonna be on here. Nice touch screen. This is a smaller panel. You can operate everything through here. You're also going to have one in the back as well, which I'll show you, as well as your Truma controls for your heat and your water heater. Nice storage up above. Come down to your sink area. You've got the nice round deep sink. This one has the induction cooktop on it here. Come down below. You've got your compressor-driven fridge, as well as a freezer on top. You'll find your microwave down below as well, and a couple little storage bins and a cover for your sink as well, and a deeper bin down below for any pots or pans that you might want to have. Also down below is hidden some storage with some outlets down below. Swinging back to the other side, you'll, you've got another place here for laying anything down, a couple drawers. Down below is nice because they give you a waste basket, convenient spot for that. You got a TV as well. You can bring out, move that around. Nice to see on here. Twin bed setup on here. One of the most popular floor plans in the country. One on either side. You've also got your nice lagoon table, which you can see here. These are nice because you can spin these around, 
face in whichever way that you like. Even when you're sitting, notice my legs do not dangle here. I know a lot of people will question that, so when I'm sitting here, I'm about five foot ten. I do have plenty of space for my legs to be straight on the ground, move the table around, be comfortable if anyone was sitting across from me as well. Then you can move that table out, have your bed bed space here. Overhead storage, you've got plenty on here. Three above the bed on each side. One over here on this side as well. These will all lift up, plenty of storage in here. Carpeted material on them as well. These Novas have some great inf uh, insulation. They use rock wool on the walls. There's a radiant reflective uh, material in the floor and the roof. And they also put a cozy wrap in the roof as well. Uh, better for sound dampening, so real quiet in here. Great insulation. Here's gonna be that other second panel which I was speaking of that you can control the coach from. You've got a max air vent fan up here. You've got a wireless control for that which you can use to operate it as well as some outlets above the bed. Nice night light that you can control. Lights up above, speakers. Coming on the other side you do have a charging station as well with more outlets. These shades are really nice because you can bring them up and down. You've got kind of blackout shades and day shades. These windows work like awning style windows so you can just flip them up on either side. Let a nice breeze in here. This is a rear bath model. Pan around, make sure you can see the whole, whole view here. Great size coach. Many features for the price that you get in here. Standard AGM batteries are on this. Coming into your wet bath, one piece fiberglass. Drop down sink, that'll flip back up if you want. Storage will be in here as well. These cabinets, you can move these around. You got hanging space up above. Plenty of drawers in here as well. Show you the size of these. They go all the way down, they get bigger all the way. Nice size drawers there. Another thing I didn't mention outside, but you do have a screen door for your back as well. So if you're hanging out at your campsite, you want to have a nice breeze flowing in, you can open up these back doors, drop down that screen. You're going to get some nice air flowing here. Great for a beautiful day. There's going to be a curtain that wraps around in here as well. Porcelain toilet. Very light bright in here. Doesn't make it feel so tight with all these light colors. Again, we're on the Ram Pro Master chassis. V6 gas engine, built-in navigation, backup camera. Your table is going to be stored behind there for your front. Sitting up here, check all the way back. It's the 2021 Coachman Nova here at Fretz RV. If you have any of the questions, suggestions, please let me know. I'd be glad to show you anything that you like. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. I'm going to be making much more content on all these coaches that we have over here at Fretz RV. Make sure that you see the underneath storage there as well. Any questions, please let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.